Looking to boost your system's performance without buying new hardware? Well, from tweaking your monitor's settings for high refresh rates and faster response times, to tuning your GPU for increased core and memory clock speeds, these easy overclocking methods can help you achieve just that. Because in this video, I'll be covering three different parts. Part one, monitor overclocking, which can significantly boost your refresh rate. Part two, GPU overclocking for higher frame rates in games. Part three, RAM overclocking, to enhance performance and reduce game stutters. All of these methods are easy to follow and are relatively safe. I personally set up XMP on every PC I've built and never had an issue with it. The same goes for overclocking my monitor settings. If your monitor is capable of doing this, you definitely should. As for the GPU overclock, I've had mine set up now for around three months and it seems to have only benefited me. There's been zero issues at all and the FPS has still been amazing. So if this video does help you out, please drop a like and subscribe for more videos like this. Part 1 Monitor Overclock To start off, you need to access the settings menu on your monitor. For most monitors, this is done via the buttons underneath the display. If you have a fiddle around, something should appear in the bottom right corner of the screen. I know for brands like BenQ, they may provide a circular controller key, while other ones like Alienware often have this like joystick thing beneath the screen. Whichever method ends up working for you and you get this settings menu open, you want to basically go into this option right here called game. Different brands may call it different things, but once you're in this section, it should have two different features. The first one should be overclock, which as you can see, if I click into it, you can push your monitor to a higher hertz. For example, with my monitor, it jumps from the 240 hertz all the way up to 280, which is quite the boost. However, if you do not see this option right here, it could be because of two different reasons. Number one, your monitor doesn't support built-in overclock and number two, you're not using a DisplayPort 1.4 cable, which is required for overclocking certain monitors like mine is with Alienware. I believe this setting right here just won't appear if you don't have a DisplayPort 1.4 cable plugged in. Additionally, you can explore the response time setting right here, what I was talking about before. What this allows you to do is it allows you to change your response time mode and it offer modes like fast, super fast and extreme. I myself like to use the fastest one, which is extreme and this gives me the lowest input delay. So far I've had zero issues using it but I have heard that most people do prefer the middle option which is super fast as this middle ground setting can avoid potential glitches like black screens, uh, monitor flickering and stuff like that. Like I mentioned though with me using the extreme one I've had zero issues so far and it's been great but do experiment with all three of these settings or whatever equivalent settings you have to see which works best with your system. Part 2 GPU overclock. For this, we're going to use NVIDIA's auto overclocking tool, which has been widely used by pro players. To get it for yourself, you need to simply download the NVIDIA app, but do keep in mind it does require a GeForce GTX 16 series or RTX 20 series GPU or higher. If you don't have one of those, you can use MSI Afterburner for a similar tool. Once you have installed the app though, you want to head into the settings, then go into about, and you should be able to tick this early access box. This will install the latest update, which I believe is still required to get this because the whole thing's still in beta. After that, if you go into system, under the performance tab, you should see the new automatic overclock feature. I say new, it's been out quite a few months now, but you'll see in just literally one click, Nvidia will begin a scan to test your GPU's capabilities. And this process right here should take anywhere from 10 to 20 minutes. So it's best you just leave your PC idle and let the test do its thing. Keep in mind you may get an interruption like this on screen. If you do you just need to go to the bottom right icon tray and just get rid of any GPU intensive tasks that might be running in the background. These background apps are probably the ones responsible for like making that interruption. Once you've got rid of those and you've re-ran the test it should literally finish like this and be fully complete. You may see similar results to myself. Uh, for my GPU specifically I got plus 165 on the core clock speed and plus 200 on the VRAM speed. I'd be interested to know in the comments what results you get with your graphics card specifically. But if you didn't notice 
notice already, I do have an RTX 4090, so I wasn't expecting massive gains, but still, you can't deny that this overclock was super easy, it was safe, and it was relatively risk-free. And that's all because Nvidia states themselves that automatic tuning won't damage your GPU, nor will it void your warranty. At worst, your PC may become unstable, but you can simply deactivate the overclock and it'll return back to normal. If you do want higher overclock speeds though, or you're interested in something like undervolting, you can try out an alternative app like MSI Afterburner for those fine tuning details. But from my experience, this light overclock here works great and I had zero stability issues, which I'm a massive fan of. I like it when it's easy and it doesn't break my PC and I can benefit from an FPS boost. Part three, RAM overclock. For this section, we'll be enabling XMP, which stands for Extreme Memory Profile. What this basically does is it gets your memory running at its rated speed, aka what it says on the box. By default, the RAM usually runs at much lower speeds than advertised. So to do this, you firstly want to open up your PC case and ensure that your RAM is correctly installed in the appropriate motherboard slots like this on screen. Incorrect installation of the RAM will negatively impact performance, so don't do that. After that, you can go to your start menu, type in system information and find your motherboard's model. Then search online your motherboard's BIOS key to learn how to enter the BIOS. Because once you are inside your BIOS, you want to locate the XMP or Extreme Memory Profile option. For most setups, you should just be able to select Profile 1. After that, if it is successful, you should see much higher RAM speeds right here in the BIOS itself. But to confirm that it did actually work, you can head back over to your desktop, press Control, Shift and Escape to open Task Manager. Then under the Performance tab, if you head to Memory, you'll see in the bottom right corner details about your RAM speed. This RAM speed should now match the one that was advertised on the box. Without XMP enabled, you'll notice that this speed right here was previously lower. But as you can see, that's not the case and our RAM speed is high. This is great because with this higher RAM speed, you should in turn get much smoother gameplay. As with this faster RAM, it allows the CPU to access data more quickly. And that in turn can reduce things like game stutters. For a lot of people out there, the main cause for gameplay stuttering is having a really bad RAM kit or slower RAM, especially in games that are more CPU bound rather than GPU bound. These high RAM speeds are also great for people out there who stream and record while they actually play the game, as faster RAM can help manage these tasks much more efficiently. I hope this guide helped you all improve your system's performance with these very easy overclocking methods. Remember, the risk is relatively low, but if you do encounter any sort of issues, you can revert all of these methods back very easily. All you have to do is go back to the original option, so back to default basically. But if it did help, feel free to drop a like and subscribe for more. And before you go, check out any of my other videos on screen right now.